Hey there, I the Holder Fire Familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time we're reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 5, Episode 4, The Great Bookery. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let me get to see The Great Bookery. That's a pretty shot. More pretty backgrounds. Oh yeah, that's right, this is a city. We never got to see this city, like, fully, so... Fortune, it's all destroyed now, but it's still pretty. The corruption of the sun orb infected innocent creatures and changed them. I wonder, could that be what happened with that banther? The one that attacked Rayla and Callum? That looked like it was possessed by like shadow dark stuff? Because that, now that I think about it, it did look like uh, the stuff that comes off of the staff that um, Claudia has. The one that um, Viren used. Or should I say Erevos used and then Viren had? Of course. That must have been what attacked us that night. A corrupted banther. Ah, yes. Okay. Just a single scratch would spread the corruption to elves, humans, horses. The Good thing Rayla or Callum or none of them got scratched by that thing. Five hours to complete our mission. No pressure. I mean, five hours should be long this enough, right? thing. Then again, time flies. Pretty. What's the inside look like? Is it gonna have stained glass? Painted murals? Yeah! Stained glass! Big dome! Holy whoa. Would you like to see my favorite place in the great bookery? I don't know where that'd be, actually. I don't think- do we have time for that right now? The return box? <laughs> Perhaps to your untrained eye, it is merely a book drop. But to What's me, inside it? it? Was an impenetrable reading fortress. Oh! I would sometimes- Cozy! I did have a book dropped on my head from time to time, but most of them were quite interesting. I feel like at that point, if I'm- that's like- if that's a consistent thing she did, I feel like I would have just, uh... Brought a pillow and blankets. That's a big library too. Or bookery. Deep breathing? Big creature? Oh, Soul Regum. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna work together. No. No, no. I know Sol Regum hates humans, so I wonder if they are- Oh, they're gonna work together, aren't they? Go away. They both look surprised, so they accidentally stumbled upon him? I mean, that's a, what a thing to stumble across. He's like, I was here first. This is my shade spot. What do we need to learn? Everything. How to kill a Star Touch elf. Oh. Hmm. I don't think there's a dedicated section for that. Yeah, I feel like that would be a little weird to have in a book made- or a bookery made by elves. Also, is it me- wait. Does the floor- Is this like a sundial kind of thing? Because I see the Roman numbers here. And then you got like these here, which looks like runes? So I wonder if this is like a sundial or something like that. Even though I don't- see any like signs of a dial anywhere so maybe not it wasn't right the way i treated you oh you mean by oh my god character growth by trying to kill me mm. i judged you because you were an elf yeah now prejudice I know how apology accepted that means a lot to me yay bonding girlfriends out of the way if you ever hurt my nephew Callum again, I will kill you. <laughs> I mean, protective aunt, understandable. <laughs> she did hurt Callum deeply, so. <laughs> Even Rayla's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Is it true? King of the dragons. Huh? Huh? Wasn't that Abazandium? Not him? I'm so confused. Uh, 
And no offense to Sol Regum, I don't think anyone's waiting for him. <laughs> I think everyone's happy with him staying in his little cubby hole. You think I meant to hurt Colum? Meow. <laughs> That's the last thing I wanted. You abandoned him. You broke his heart. Oh, is this how we're gonna have this talk? Is between Amaya and Real? Okay. You know who you sound like? Who? Me. Me. Mm-hmm. Oh. Thanks. I think. guess. <laughs> I hated feeling that way. So I learned to be strong alone. And independent. Stoic. Meeting Janai. Falling in love. I am stronger than I ever was. Stronger together than you are alone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, the two people are better than one. Love and trust grow a kind of strength that is much bigger than we each possess. To have that Flash kind of strength, together. it's not enough to love someone. Yeah, so when she left like that, it probably really... Not probably. It hurt Callum deeply. It's because he probably thought they had that trust in, you know, being strong together. Is she crying? Would it be okay if I... Hug you? <laughs> Janai is the only one. Janai and I think Ezrin and uh, Callum are the only ones who've had that honor of hugging her. Oh, Sun King. Okay, so they want him to take back his place as Sun King. Sun will shine again. Oh, I would love it if he goes, yeah, I'm good. No thanks. Then behold, the once great Sun King. He's gonna go. <laughs> Blow the fire out. Please do that. Lying motionless and depressed. Yeah, at least he admits it, he's depressed. The sun will never rise again for me. I mean, he didn't quite do it in a comedic way, but he still blew it out, so I'm counting it. <laughs> I've lived centuries in this eternal night. Now you just sound sad. I mean, okay, I know he said depressed, so he's depressed, but now I feel bad for him. Don't make me feel bad for this guy. Away. Sounds like he just kind of wants to will away and die. Like a dying ember. Though it is somewhat odd, they call them undying and immortal. Well, that doesn't yeah. sound so immortal. Lorelian was no more. Undying immortal. I feel like undying, you can still... Mm, I feel like you can still be... Okay. Because you can... There's the literally being immortal where you don't die. But then there's being immortalized where, like, even though you've died, you become immortalized, like, whether it's a statue or stories being told of yours, your history is written down, recorded, whatever it is. Like, you are immortalized. So I wonder if that's what they're saying is that there's the undying where you literally can't die. And then there's the immortal where you're immortalized kind of thing so i wonder if that's what erebos is is he's at the undying like he can't die or is he called immortal because he's history just immortalized or something like that? i don't know known ever for as nova blade nova blade it's a sword made from what a weapon that can end a star touch elf's mortal existence the weapon we did it no, I saw that, Stella. No, no. Girl, I saw that. What'd you take? Weapon. It's got the... Isn't that the, uh, freaking, uh, Katala seal? I don't remember what that was, but... We did it. Ah, that's where Mary Poppins' portal. We found the answer. <laughs> Research. It's fun and it saves the world sometimes. Sometimes. Hey, Helm? What dance is that he's doing? You know, he first did the floss. Is he, is he now doing the... I forgot what dance that was from Fortnite, where it was like it was like the boogie, where it's like... I don't remember what it was. He reminds me of that, but instead, he, like, part of that dance was this, and then it was like this, and then it was like this. <laughs> I, I'm not... I'm not. We need to talk. 
Yay, are you two gonna have your talk? Please do. Please have an open heart conversation. Please kiss at the end of it too. Or at least hug. And maybe that's part of what's making things... Awkward? Weirder. A lot has changed. Uh, uh, well, some things have changed, but not everything. Uh, what are you saying? I would do anything for you. The coins. Yay, the trust. A spell that can restore bodies to separated spirits. <laughs> it's almost sundown. Better Time take this going. stuff and go. Man, that's a fast setting setting sun. Two minutes. That's all I need. Just give me one minute. Go, go, go. Stop talking and go! <laughs> Blindness has made Soregan bitter. We will find a way to heal the great arch dragon's eyes. Hmm. I'm gonna be scared of Sol Regum. It's sundown. Better hurry up, Callum. You said two minutes, and this is more than two minutes. It's been more like ten. Stop reading and just grab him and go. I found something. She's gonna drag him. Uh, uh, just wait, take the book. To save Rayla's parents. Thank you, Stella. At least take the page. I need these quasar diamonds. It happens to be the same place. Uh huh. This is where the quasar diamonds come in. Okay. Okay. Where are those? Are we gonna talk about it, or is it gonna be all frozen? I hate this. It happens to be the same place where they keep the Nova Blade. That's great. What's the Nova? Okay, so you've got some really important artifacts here. You got the quasar diamonds. You've got the Nova Sword, which is the only thing that can kill a Star Touch Elf. So where are these things? Nova Blade. And also. Not only where are they, but what's guarding them? Horsey, no! Not another horse! Is that the same freaking banther? You know, the animal deaths in- There's more animal deaths in this series than there are freaking characters. Really? Callum, I don't wanna- How much space is between these- Look how much space is between these tables and you bump into the book on the- Seriously, Callum. Really? Angry Panther. Angry Panther. You like shoot or something. Flashbang it again? Never mind. There's a few of them now. You need like an arch dragon or something. What now? The scroll that Sel took, maybe? I don't know. Even one scratch and you'll be corrupted. Fate, what are you gonna do? What are you? Why are you on the ground? Yeah, I, was, I don't think that's gonna stop him. Ooh. Oh! Oh! That would definitely kill it. Man, we're definitely getting darker with the wounds here. I don't mind it. Ooh! Shock punch. Nice. Oh. See together better. Uh, behind. Oh, watch out for a Maya. Don't let a Maya get stuck. Stab it! Stab it! Throw the sword at it. Dagger, something. Bait? Glow? Don't you dare hit bait either. <laughs> I don't want anyone to get hit here. You're gonna boost the strength. Ooh, right in the eye. Oh, in the skull. Never mind. Hmm. Bait's like compressed. Stronger together. Yep. Holy. There are so many. Are we gonna end the episode off with this? You gonna need like Janai and like the whole. There's too many. Y'all are gonna make it. I don't want to hear. It. I don't want. I don't want any of the sad, somber music and the, the flower from Janai. None of this. No. No. I know y'all are gonna live. I was wrong. I waited too long. The finger rubs. I hope you know. I know. I love you. 
I know you two, y'all are gonna make it, so I don't want to like sweeten everything. But who? Yeah, <laughs> mommy tried it. <laughs> That's a pretty shot. She doesn't get scratched because I'm sure she. Imagine she got corrupted. Ooh. Yeah, that. <laughs> fries them. Yeah. Uh, technically, it's a bookery. She can just squish him with her feet. This bait always has to be like the. La oh, come on. Unlock a new superpower, bait. Ooh. Stop gawking, just grab him and go. Stop staring. Uh, Maya. The glittering on him. What about Maya? Hello, Maya's still down there. We're not leaving without you, Anta Maya. You got a freaking arch dragon. Just zap them all and then take her. She spoke. She spoke. Okay, that's not right. You got an arch dragon on your team. Just there's only like maybe ten. She can easily just squish them with her paws. Zap them all and grab. Mm. Oh. Of course not. Of course you have to do something like that. Now she's gotten corrupted. I swear to God. And he's false. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? You guys gonna survive in there? The book drop. They made it. They'll be safe. What about Zubaya though? Zubaya got bitten once or twice. And they said all you need is a scratch, it bit her. Okay, so they're gonna. <laughs> that was too much at the end there. That was too much. Okay, so Zubaya got bitten. You have. You have now. Okay, Amaya and. Um... I forgot his name. I blank on his name. But. They're now Corvus. Corvus uh, are hiding in the in the book drop, so they should be okay. Um, but so now the question is Zubaya. Do they have anything to cure Zubaya? Oh my god. And I'm guessing that's a Ma that's Amaya with bait. So Regum. The Corona of the Heavens. Okay, so I know a couple of you have mentioned the. Uh, the crystals and this, the star scraper. So I wonder if that it would make sense if the Nova sword that can kill a star herself is somewhere in like a, the lo a location where star elves live or lived. I don't know if Erebus is the last one or not, but that looks very like, like they got the stars and like sparkles and stuff. So I feel like this would be somewhere where star elves live. Oh, there she is reading under, um, wait, I forget. Is it she or they? I think it was they. I'm sorry if they were they. Um, I'll just say they just to be safe for now. Uh, but so they're, that's them when they were reading in the book drop off. I feel like that'd be very uncomfortable because it's like metal. I would have brought like pillows at least or a blanket. Sunfire University. Go hot cats. Hot cats, of course. What is it with the show and sometimes in their credits they like drop something like important like as the last image or drawing. Who are you? You've got wings on your back so I'm guessing you're a, you remind me of um, Nyx with the wings. So are you a sky elf? You don't look like a star touch. You also have like the blindfold, not blind, blindfold, but like a coverings over the eyes. It kind of reminds me of um, like, I forget which religion it is or like for angels or something where they've got that. You've got the crown, the corona, the corona, the crystals, the, uh, I forgot they're not quartz crystals. Uh, I'll just say the crystal, the crown with the crystals. Um, 
Interesting. So we're gonna be meeting you in that tower, I bet. Whatever that, wherever, wherever that tower is. So then maybe, okay, so if, if he is a sky elf, so I wonder then if that tower is in the, the land of like sky elves, where they live. Hmm. All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Okay, oh, what an episode. So we not only had the talk of Rayla opening up to like Maya, which I was not, or not opening up to Maya. I mean, she did, but like after Maya kind of confronts her about it and said, you know, the way you left Callum and stuff. So uh, you got that finally brought up. I was like, yeah, are we gonna really like, it's kind of sort of been addressed. It kind of feels like Callum and Rayla are kind of moved on from it, but at the same time, it's still there. So Maya's the one that confronts it. It's like, you know, if you hurt Callum again, I'm gonna <laughs> kill you. And then Rayla opening up, and then like, I like it though that it's like her and her and Amaya bond, but also Amaya also apologizes for how she treated. So it's like it tied in multiple things. So I liked how that was handled. It wasn't like it's two separate things. It was it let one let Amaya's apology led to Rayla's what Rayla did, and like her opening up to Amaya, and then Amaya and her kind of bonding, and then like then therefore. Rayla opened up the Callum, and now they had their talk and stuff. Um, so yeah, yay! I, I'm glad they we had those talks and that, and that happened. Character growth, I love it. Uh, uh, now we got it where, yeah. So yeah, Zubaya has been bitten. I don't know how many times because when she finally took off, she had a few of them fall from her. So I wonder if she got bitten a few times. Um, I'm not really worried about Corvus or um, Amaya because they're in the the book. The drop the book drop off so probably what's gonna happen is they're gonna have to get put together a rescue mission to go get them back like with Janai and stuff or actually you know what they don't have to they just wait till it's daytime and then they just come out so never mind they don't even need a rescue it's just wait till it's daytime and then they can come out um thankfully they have that the opening in the top or else they probably run out of air uh, <laughs> but um yeah so i'm not worried about them never mind i thought they would have to be like a rescue group or something but i forgot that the Corrupted creatures only come out at night, so once it's daytime, they'll be fine. Um, so now the main thing is just Zubaya. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I would say overall, like, plot like plot was great. Characters were great. Animation, I especially liked in this episode just because a lot of the backgrounds were beautiful. Like, usually this show, like, excels at backgrounds, in my opinion. Um, but I did like the overall animation for this episode. Like, there was just a lot. Like, there was, like, a variety of seeing like background, like locations, plus the library, the bookery is new and pretty. Um, so the shots look different. Like I would say overall, maybe again, the music is probably the least, least uh, impressive thing in this episode. I would say like it was good, but not great. Whereas I would say everything else prior was great. Um, but overall, a really good episode. I, I would say one of my favorites for this season so far. Um, I say so far, even though there's like only nine episodes per season. So we're already like halfway through it. Almost halfway through, pretty much. Um, but yeah, uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright, guys. See ya!